hey y'all welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be making steak and shrimp surf and turf with a side of asparagus yo i'm so excited to make this video let's get to it so now what we want to do is we want to season our steak i'm using adobo garlic powder onion powder cajun seasoning black pepper you don't got to use what i'm using you can put whatever you want on your steak. It's your steak. So what I like to do is I like to drizzle a little olive oil, extra virgin olive oil on my steak and rub that in with the seasoning. And then what you want to do is you want to flip over that steak and season the back side and rub it in. So now let's get started on asparagus. First you want to make sure your asparagus is washed and clean and dry. And then you just want to cut the ends off. And then you want to season your asparagus. I'm seasoning mine with black pepper, salt, red crushed pepper, some lemon juice from a lemon, some minced garlic. And then I'm going to drizzle a little olive oil. Mix it all up. And then I'm going to set my oven at 350 degrees and I'm going to let it cook. For 15 to 20 minutes that's because i like mine sauteed if you don't like your sauteed and you want crunch cook it for 10 minutes So now that your asparagus is in the oven, you want to place the oil in your cast iron pan and then you want to place your steaks. Once you place your steaks in your pan, do not touch it because you want to make sure you get a perfect sear on that steak. But if you touch it, you ain't going to have no sear. I'm also going to let it cook for four minutes on each side. I like my steak well done. So now I'm just going to add in some butter and some rosemary and thyme. And I'm just going to let my butter melt so I can get all the flavors from the rosemary and the thyme in the steak. And then once the butter melts, then I'm going to get ready to start basting my steak. So now that your butter's melted, you want to base your steak. You want to get all those amazing flavors from the rosemary and the thyme and that butter. It's going to keep your steak juicy and flavorful. Now that our steak is resting, now we want to season our shrimp. So now you just want to drizzle a little olive oil and just mix everything all together. So now I'm just going to put some oil in my hot pan and I'm just going to let my shrimp cook for a minute and a half on each side. So 
now that everything's done let's play y'all look at everybody's steak when i tell y'all that steak was so juicy and tender baby So there you have it steak and shrimp surf and turf i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video